God will, play, you know, the crowds are leaving now, inevitable, and the songs come up from the uh, stands for God, for Dublin. Galway fans will be disappointed, but they certainly improved their performance in the second period. Ball has dropped in around the house. Mark Schutte is causing a few problems since being introduced. He lays it off first corner, McCormack, and McCormack gets his second point of the game. Wonderful play by the Valley Boat in St. Enders, man. Well, it's been a hallmark party of Dublin's player all through the game. Their support play there, and McCormack just standing off in the right position, takes the pass and just knocks it over the bar. Puck out comes down for us, Damien Hayes. Two minutes of additional time has been added on. Underneath the cross, it's Liam Rush. Simon Lambert is waiting for it down in the corner. Shane Durkin trying to... Uh, he can find Danny Sutcliffe and he succeeds in doing so. Sutcliffe takes his points. It's his first point in his Leinster final. He was the man that scored the winning goal against Kilkenny yesterday week. But today his work rate was phenomenal. He skipped away from the Galway defence and took that last point, perhaps the last point in this Leinster final. Yeah, you could see there Shane Cavanagh tired going after him and Danny Sutcliffe deservedly getting his, getting his name on the score sheet. Stephen Heine lays it back. First Conor McCormack. Ball took a slight deflection. Shane Kavner is there, so too is Kevin Hines. With great pressure by Dublin. Here's Danny Sutcliffe. What can he do? Fergal Moore keeping the pressure on. Sutcliffe is there and there's a free end for Dublin. 71 minutes on the clock. It's been a long, long journey for Dublin since 1961. But right now, at this moment, they are seconds away from their 24th Leinster title. I know one man at the Dublin, Marty, but I, I would be expecting, a, you know, a, a, a semi-penalty here. I felt that he was pulled down inside the, the large square. And um, it won't matter to Paul Ryan. He, maybe he'll have a cut himself uh, for a goal here, or he might just knock it over the bar. But... Um, Either way, he's had to play the starting role for Dublin. Here's Paul Ryan, and he drives it almost out of the park. Two goals and seven points for Paul Ryan on a wonderfully historic day for Dublin. Galway showed their character by battling back. But right now, the cheer will be massive when Johnny Ryan, the temporary referee, blows the full-time whistle. The wait is almost over. The famine is over for Dublin. It's been a long time since 1961. 52 years ago, Dublin last won the Leinster Championship. Five years ago.